Hey guys, Lachlan here from Cowboy for Game, and I'm the best Dynamist player in the world. And today I'm going to tell you why you need to vote for Dynamist and not for Lightsworn or anyone else we both on the way to the finals. So, first of all, um, I want to say that I already did this video once and I could not get it to export, so I'm doing this hoping that it works. Um, I had just a few problems with that video. I did record this with uh, Liam originally, who is at least <laughs> as good as me. Um, but without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Um, but first, we're going to go through, we're going to do a quick overview of all the, the Dynamis archetype. I'm going to reintroduce you, and then I'm going to explain why it's good, and why I'd only need one card of support to be, uh, if not meta, very close to it. Alrighty, so let's jump in. We'll go through the monsters real quick. So first up we got Ankylos. Um, so basically all six scales have... Ooh, oh, I wonder what I've done to the... Alright, that's all good. All six scales have this effect. The once per turn, while this card's in your pendulum zone, you can get an activated card effect that targets another Dynamis card you control, then destroy this card. So it's it does not activate. You can't go to Story Gear, you can't chain MST, to that effect, it just happens. It's kind of like an alternate cost, except it negates. I don't know many other cards that do that, but um, that's part of what makes it so special. Basically, it just reads, banish any card destroyed by battle with dynamis monsters you control. So this is a battle archetype. Um, I need to make that clear from the get-go. It is very much a battle archetype centered around battle. Um, moving on, we've got uh, Dynamis Brachion. Now, this is one of my favorite cards. Um, if I ever do a lore video for this, uh, this will come into it, but it's also the six effect, uh, the six scale pendulum effect, I mean. It's real effect reads, if you do not control Dynamis Brachion in your monster zone and your opponent controls a monster that has the highest attack, even if it's tied, you can special summon this card from your hand. So obviously that, that's good for, uh, a few reasons. One. It's just a free summon that does not activate, it's an inherent summon. Um, so you can out stuff, you can loop it with charge, because it's not once per turn. Um, it's important to note that all these monsters are level three, uh, level 4 and level 5 machine water types. Which is so incredible, like, it's not as much what these cards do. It's what these cards are and what they're able to do because of what they are. The effects are all barebone, every single one of them. There's not a single nuanced effect in this list, except, like, from the monster's perspective, at least. Um, but yeah, Brachion is one of the best cards in this list. It's just, if your opponent summons Zexel in attack position, boom, this is an out. I see some people citing this in the OCG for that exact reason. It's just very, very good. Uh, and to partner Brachion, we have Ceratops. Now, Ceratops is also incredible. It's got the three effect, the three scale effect, which is just, if another Dynamis card you control would be destroyed by battle or opponent's card effects, you can destroy this card instead. This is three years before Baylinx, I believe. And look how good that effect, like that is just a Baylinx. Um, and it's on half the cards. And every other card searches it. It's incredible. Um, it has a similar effect to Brachion, where it's not uh, your opponent uh, reliant, it's reliant on uh, yourself. If all monsters you control are Dynamis monsters and not Dynamis Ceratops, you can special summon this card. So this was how you used to make Electromite before Pendulum Summoning, essentially. And um, there's a neat little interaction where if you open going second Brachion and Ceratops, you get to uh, CDI without using an effect. So if they've just put an Appalooza up, you've opened two of these. You make a CDI, effect to take, negate, negate. It's done. Moving on, we've got Plasios. This is my favorite Dynamis card. It's a six scale, so it's got the negate. Um, and it just says, all face up once as your opponent controls lose 100 attack and defense for each Dynamis card you control. So, the <laughs> it sounds bad, but if you get to multiples, it stacks. I don't think a lot of people understand how how incredible attack suppression is at the moment. Um, it takes an incredible thing to get... 
the most I've ever taken off someone is 3,000. Um, but even if you get to like 800, that, that brings a lot of things down to your level. Um, uh, it, yeah, it, it really does bring a lot down to your level. Um, this is a mandatory three of an autonomous deck. Um, move on to Terran. Used to be my favorite card. It is no longer because I've realized how terrible it is. It's a uh, Terran bull. Not very good. Um, <laughs> it's got the Bailing effect because it's a three scale. It reads, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can add one Dynamis card from your deck to your hand. This should say if this card is normal summoned or spent or pendulum summoned. Or I actually saw a retrain of this in the Dynamis Discord, link in the description, which says, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, I'm oh, sorry. When this card is normal <laughs> When this card's normal summoned, add a monster. If this card's pendulum summoned, add a spell or trap. I think that's probably what they should have read. This wasn't good at the time it came out. It's only 1800 attack. It doesn't do anything. Um, even if the one monster we get is just, if this card is normal or special summoned, add a spell or trap once per turn or whatever, that will still be enough that I would probably drop this to almost zero. Maybe just a one-off to replace um, Stegosaur. Now I hear a lot of people saying, uh, Dynamis does not have a boss monster. We do. We do. It's this one. Dynamis Rex. Uh, the only one that ever showed up in the manga, I believe. And it's awesome. Um, so it's got the 6 scale negate effect. The card reads, if this card attacks at the end of the damage step, you contribute one other Dynamis monster, then activate one of these effects. This card can attack again. Um, it has to attack a monster. And if it attacks a defense position monster, it does piercing. So that's really good. Um, but it all it's, it's, it's okay. The second effect is really good, though. It's a non-targeting shuffle from hand or field. Um, and then at the end, it gains 100 attack as well, permanently. Um, so this is... You're out to Dragoon, um, uh, Dingirisu, like uh, anything that you can't target, like Dark Destroyer, um, can't target or is, um, you know, can't destroy. It's just really good removal. Uh, I will note that nothing in Dynamis is once per turn. Um, bar, none of the Dynamis monsters are once per turn, I mean. All of the Dynamis traps and spells are essentially once per turn. Um, so basically you can use the attack effect as many times as you have Dynamis monsters to tribute and monsters to attack. Um, and then you can shuffle at the end. So that's pretty good. Also, it's a beefy boy. Uh, considering you can just panel and summon him whenever you see him. Uh, Dynamis Spinos. This is the secondary boss monster. It's not as good. But in the Mystic Mind version, which is broken, this becomes really good. Um, so yeah, it's got the Bailing's effect, because it's a 3 scale. Uh, it reads, you contribute one other Dynamis monster, then activate these effects. Ah, uh, one of these effects. Not once per turn. This card can attack your opponent directly, and this card can attack twice. So if you mixed that with, let's say, uh, Limiter Removal, <laughs> it, it's pretty good. <laughs> but, um... Unfortunately, you don't get that often, except in the Mystic Mind list, where, you know, it's a bit slower. This deck really thrives in simplified game states. That's where the deck really goes nuts. So, um, anything you can do, Skill Drain, Mystic Mind, um, Necro Valley even, to an extent, um, anything like that, that's going to help you a lot because when a deck is more about what it is than what it does, when you can bring other stuff down to your level, it's not going to, um, it's not going to cope as well with just being vanillas. This deck, folk, like, this deck does it really well. I will also note that um, everything that tributes in this deck tributes for cost. So, let's say you have two, two Dynamis monsters on the board already. Spinos and a level 4. And you've got a charge, right? Or you pendulum summoned them out, and you've got a charge on board, or whatever. 
you can activate Spinos, tributing for cost, which uh, in the Mystic Mind variant, you'd have two monsters on the other side of the board as well in your opponent's field. Tribute for cost, they can't respond with a monster effect. Use charge, bring it back, normal summon, use the other effect so it can attack uh, twice directly. They just can't respond. They need a spell or trap uh, negate. Imperm doesn't work because of the six scales. Destruction doesn't work because of the three scales. Once you get to that point, they're not stopping you. Um, because you've essentially ruled out the two biggest things that they can do with spells and traps. And, like, Imperm. Um, and you've also ruled out them ever responding with monster effects. So this deck is, in my opinion, the best deck for Mystic Mind besides pure Mystic Mind. Shout out to Jeff Leonard, you're a god. Uh, Dynamis Stegosaur. So this is where they said, probably in the creative process, they decided, eh, this deck's probably not good enough. <laughs> um, just make it generic. Which is what this is. If another Pendulum monster you control battles an opponent's monster, after damage cap, you can destroy those monsters. This card's terrible. This card's really bad. This is, you run this as a one-of, and you run uh, Ankylos as a one-of, just to set... Ankylos comes off more than this, but just to set off of um, Howling. Uh, it's a three scale, so it's got that. But yeah, if we got that uh, retrain of Terran I was talking about, uh, Terran would just take this guy's place, in my opinion. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so we'll talk real quick about something interesting. Uh, Ankylos is a 2000 defense uh, level 4. So that is a very, very, very high defense for a level 4. The amount of times you, like, for a while back in the day, uh, Salaman Great couldn't get over 1800. And you've got two plus monsters in here that are 1800. Uh, like, every, all the level 4s are essentially, like, the Ankylos and Stegosaur in defense. Um, Plasios makes everything a pseudo- 1800, um, and Terran is 1800, so the, the deck struggled a little bit back in the day, but, um, yeah, you really wouldn't want to run this, or if you did, you'd have to build the deck around it, really. Uh, we'll move quickly on to the spells, uh, Dynamis Power Load, it is a field spell, the only time I've ever used this is actually quite recently, um, which, for its effect, which reads, all Dynamis monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense. If a Dynamis monster you control battles, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. So that's actually quite important. Um, one, it makes Terran a level for 2100 normal summon, which is pretty sick. Um, it makes Rex 27, Spinos 28, uh, you know, stuff like that. It's... it's, it's it's okay. The Make Them All Armadies is actually really good, um, once again, in a simplified game state. So if you get to the point where you need to out your own Mystic Mind, or you know they haven't got a monster effect on the board, you can put this down, summon out the monsters, do your attack, put this down, then they can't even battle trap you. So it works really well, especially if, if you just need to out your own Mystic Mind. Um, but that's all you'd ever run it. You'd only ever run this at one, for sure. Uh, Dynamis Charge. This is your tanky, but forever. <laughs> um, basically, it has the same. It has the tanky effect of when it's activated, add a Dynamis monster from your deck to your hand. But it has also got the additional. It trades off the attack bonus for once per turn if a Dynamis card is added from the field to the extra deck, face up. You can add one of those cards to your hand. You can only activate Dynamis Charge once per turn. So that second effect is mandatory. Actually, everything on this deck is, uh, on this card is mandatory. But let's say you link them off into a link that adds on summon. If that add on summon, sort of like Electromite, is not mandatory chain link one, this will be. You don't get to chain block with it. Um, but it essentially allows you, as Liam was saying when we tried to record this the first time, uh, it essentially kind of allows you to play in Master All 3, which is really good. Um, 
it's the only pendulum deck that has a, an effect like this, I believe. Um, moving on. Howling. Okay, so before anyone says, oh, there's no way, like, Dynamis need six or seven cards to be good, you need to read these two cards. You don't, like, any anyone that says through these two cards that Dynamis aren't good are stupid. They don't understand the game, and they don't understand... Um, a value in hand, um, plusing, removal, protection. They do not understand uh, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! If they don't think a card that allows you to set and activate Howling turn one would make this deck uh, at, at the minimum top of Rogue. Um, so we'll read Howling real quick. When this card is activated, you can place one or two Pendulum Monsters from your deck in your Pendulum Zone. So, read into that, it says place, not activate. Uh, you can obviously do it through anti-spell, which is pretty good. Uh, but it does come with a cost. You can't pendulum summon monsters, except dynamis monsters, until the end of the next turn. So, that's fine. Um, because we like to stay in archetype here. At least from the hand. Uh, once per turn, if this card is already face up in your spell and trap zone, uh, you contribute one Dynamis monster, then target one card your opponent controls, return it to hand. I don't know why this card says if this card is already face up. It is the only card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh that has an effect that reads like that. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Um, so uh, we'll go through two more, the other two, <laughs> and then I'll explain... Um, a bit about the link monster that we need. Dynamis Eruption, we don't talk about this one, it sucks. Uh, Dynamis Rush was good with Demise Dynamis, which was uh, one of the best, <laughs> honest to god. In zoo format, it was like, I, I would say it's like at least fourth best deck uh, behind probably. Well, it destroyed zoo, but it was probably, in my opinion, it was. Like, in a match against it, it was equal with True Draco. Like, 50-50 chance to win or lose. Um, and Dino probably had it over it. Um, when Dino was probably the third best deck of that format, so... Uh, but Dynamis Rush, yeah. Uh, a special summon any Dynamis monster from deck. And if you do, it's unaffected by other card effects. Also destroy it during the end phase. Uh, you can only activate once, once per turn. <sighs> um... So yeah, basically this is your, um, this is kind of like your rotor, I guess, in a way, because it's the only way you can really search them out that doesn't leave something on the board. Um, it's unaffected by card effects, but tributes for cost, howling. So it's all good. Um, so real quick, okay. Um, there's a bunch of cards I think are good. Apparently, they've not all loaded in. Uh, limited removal for Spinos, um, of course, just attack directly for 10k. It's, it's a bit gimmicky, but in the Mystic Mind version, that's your main win con, I think. Uh, Symphonic Warrior Guitar. Um, actually, real quick, this is really good on Terran as well, because nothing is not dying to a 3600 attack. Um, guitar, so yeah. This card is one of my favorite things to play with it. You just get an extra normal summon and an extra level 5 body on board. It's incredible. Plus, the normal summon effect comes up more than you think it would. Um, to summon mics, of course, which gives you the extra normal summon. That effect, um, I've only used it once. Um, I, but, here is... Look, <laughs> the card art on this one's a little whack. I didn't draw it. Someone just posted it in the Dynamis Discord and I thought it was fucking hilarious. But the effect is exactly right. Like, this is what Dynamis need. One card. There are other cards that would help out tremendously. But this one card would take Dynamis... I will, I will get this card banned. I swear it. <laughs> bro, this is incredible. I love this. Bro, it's got the, the ring. Which, if you look at... Um, what was it? Which one has the ring? Uh, this has got the ring. Um, 
They all have these blue things, and I imagine this is that blue thing. It's got the mist. <laughs> I love this thing so much. Um, but yeah, its effect is just, if it's Link Summoned, you can set a Dynamis spell or trap from, directly from your deck, and if it's a trap card, it can be activated this turn. That's incredible. Look, this second effect, we don't even need it. Um, but it says once per turn, you can target a Dynamis monster in your grave or face up. Shuffle it into the deck and draw one card. Look, it's fine. I don't care. But, um, it's, ideally, ideally, I would want this to be a Link 1 without the second effect. I think that's what the deck needs to be incredible. Um, just super, super good. I think there's precedence of why it should get that card as well. Trap Tricks, um, Abyss Actors, what's the, what's the brag deck? Um, Prank Kids, all got Link 3s, uh, Link 1s that do, uh, they do similar things for their decks, especially the Abyss Actor one. Like, honestly, the Prank Kids Link 1 could have been a vanilla and still been really good. But the um, Abyss Actor 1 sets scales from deck, essentially. It sets Madonna and Madonna sets the other scale. It's a plus. Anyone who doesn't think that this specific card setting Howling, or even Charge if you've already got Howling, I, I, I think the wording should be changed a little bit, where you can set one and then once per turn you can activate one in the turn it's set to allow you to play it from hand essentially but we move we move half the people i talk to about uh Donimus say oh it needs like six or seven cards to be good the other half are like no i don't want howling activated turn one that's too good i i kind of need you guys to make up your mind is bounce one too good or is bounce one terrible that's that's what i need to know the um if this is a link one or even two you you are setting up at minimum howling scales um and probably an extra deck monster um be it toad or cdi plus you could add in the dogmatiker engine um which would be really good so that is my case. Um, you can also add, there's other cards, Hoppier Squadron for Metaphys Horus. Um, you've got uh, like your generic sort of genius, Mist Boy. Electromite was really good in this deck. I would almost write, like, if they just printed Dynamis Electromite, that would also work fine. I would actually probably prefer this card. <laughs> Then the election might coming back, but um, look if this is sort of an open challenge. Uh, your pen god isn't helping with this one. I've seen like four tweets. Where's the video? Where's the where's telling people to vote for it over Light Swan? He doesn't care. <laughs> Truth. All I want to do is see a good list. Uh, a good list and maybe some you know some support in the uh the polls because that would be really helpful i think um but look that is the list i've made infinite decade i've made numeron i've made mystic mine um uh i had pepe back in the day demise this deck keeps going and it will forever keep going because it's about what it is and not what it does that is sort of what you have to focus on. I've said that like three or four times now, but you really need to understand it to understand why this deck is not as far away from being good as you think it is. I will get this card banned if they print it. But anyway, go vote for Dynamist, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.